In the history of warfare, few machines have shaped the battlefield like the fighter jet. Fewer still have dominated it for nearly half a century. But one aircraft stands apart, a fighter so revolutionary, it changed the very nature of aerial combat. This is not just another war machine. This is the story of an aircraft that rewrote the rules of physics and human capability. An aircraft that turned pilots into warriors and the sky itself into a weapon. To understand the F-16, we must first return to the skies over Vietnam. The year is 1967, and American pilots are learning a harsh lesson. Bigger isn't always better. We were flying these massive fighters, loaded with technology, but getting outmaneuvered by smaller, more agile MiGs. Something had to change. In the corridors of the Pentagon, a rebellious group of fighter pilots and engineers, nicknamed the Fighter Mafia, were about to spark a revolution. Their leader, John Boyd, had developed a revolutionary theory of aerial combat, the OODA loop, observe, orient, decide, act. Their vision was radical. Strip away everything unnecessary. Build a fighter so agile it could change the direction of combat faster than the enemy could comprehend. The result would become the F-16 Fighting Falcon. At first glance, the F-16's design seems to break every rule in the aviation handbook. Most aircraft are built to be naturally stable, like an arrow in flight. The F-16 is intentionally unstable. Imagine trying to balance a pencil on your finger. Point up. That's what the F-16 is doing constantly. It shouldn't work, but that's exactly why it does. The distinctive strakes along the fuselage generate powerful vortices, tornado-like swirls of air that provide additional lift and stability at high angles of attack. These vortices, invisible to the naked eye, act like aerial rails, guiding the aircraft through maneuvers that would stall conventional fighters. But an unstable aircraft needs an exceptional brain. Enter the fly-by-wire system, the first of its kind in a production fighter jet. Every second, the flight computer makes hundreds of microscopic adjustments, transforming instability into unprecedented maneuverability. It's like having a digital co-pilot that can react faster than human reflexes, turning potential disaster into tactical advantage. Step into the cockpit of an F-16, and you're not just sitting in an aircraft. You're interfacing with one of the most sophisticated combat systems ever created. The first thing that strikes you is the view. That bubble canopy isn't just for looks. In a dogfight, being able to see your opponent can mean the difference between victory and defeat. The reclined seat position, initially controversial, was designed to help pilots withstand higher G-forces. At 9 Gs, the human body experiences forces nine times normal gravity. Blood rushes from the brain to the legs, threatening consciousness. The reclined position helps counteract these forces, keeping pilots alert during the most demanding maneuvers. The F-16's side stick controller might look simple, but it's a marvel of human factors engineering. Unlike traditional center-mounted control sticks, this design allows for precision control even under extreme G-forces. The side stick uses pressure sensors instead of movement. Push slightly, the aircraft responds gently. Push harder, it responds more aggressively. It's almost like the aircraft can read the pilot's mind. At the core of the F-16's capabilities lies its power plant, the F-110 GE-129 turbofan engine. But calling it an engine is like calling a hurricane a breeze. Each component is a masterpiece of precision engineering. The fan blades, spinning at over 20,000 RPM, must withstand temperatures that would melt steel. The afterburner can dump the equivalent of a small car's worth of fuel into the engine every minute. The thrust-to-weight ratio exceeds 1 to 1, meaning the F-16 can accelerate while climbing straight up. The F-16's weapon systems represent the perfect marriage of flexibility and firepower. Nine hardpoints can carry everything from air-to-air -air missiles to precision-guided bombs. The M61 Vulcan cannon deserves special mention. At 6,000 rounds per minute, it fires so fast that if you could hear individual shots, they'd sound like a continuous tone. Each round carries enough energy to punch through armored steel, and the gun can empty its entire magazine in seconds. Today's F-16 is a far cry from its 1970s predecessor. 
modern upgrades have transformed it into a network-centric warfare platform. The ANAPG-83 ASA radar system can track multiple targets while jamming enemy systems. But its real power lies in its ability to share data with other aircraft and ground forces, creating a complete picture of the battle space. As we look to the future, the F-16 continues to evolve. New upgrades include automated ground collision avoidance system, auto GCAS, advanced electronic warfare suites, integration with unmanned combat systems, enhanced data fusion capabilities. The F-16 Fighting Falcon represents more than just military might. It stands as testimony to human ingenuity, proof that sometimes the boldest innovations come from challenging conventional wisdom. From the desert sands of Iraq to the frozen skies of the Arctic, the F-16 has proven itself time and again. But perhaps its greatest achievement isn't in the battles it's won, but in how it changed our understanding of what's possible in the art of aerial warfare. This isn't just the story of a fighter jet, it's the story of how vision, courage, and innovation came together to create something truly extraordinary. A legacy that continues to shape the future of aerial combat.